open your Bibles very quickly to the book of Matthew chapter 8 when you're preparing to be in the first service like I said last week you are going to be prepared because it's a prayer and prophetic service hallelujah prayer and prophetic service I'm led to declare this so if it sounds like you you're going to get on your knees where you are let me pray this prayer in my spirit if you have a project that suddenly stopped you have a project that suddenly stopped i don't know what stopped her finances anything at all you have a project that suddenly stopped get on your knees wherever you are and lift up your two hands before the lord at the sound of your amen in a miracle that will shock you in a way that you never anticipated in another seven days that project will miraculously start again that project will miraculously start again it will miraculously start again it will miraculously start again let your aim at under seven times open your bibles to the book of matthew chapter 8 and we'll begin to read from verse 5 to verse 13 hear me people of god as i declare over your life any familiar spirit moving from the house of your brother to the house of your sister to everyone transferring the same pattern the same pattern of negativity hear me as i hear the lord suddenly in the service suddenly in the service suddenly in the service i announce let it be broken by fire let it be broken by fire let it be broken by fire let your amen turn the louder the louder your amen the quicker it is happening right now the louder your amen the quicker it is happening right now the louder your amen the quicker it is happening right now let your amen turn the louder let your amen rise I don't know why I'm declaring this over your life. Kara, lift up your two hands wherever you are. Pasaka Talia. Pasato. I decree and declare. Shabarosi Rabalabakotaya. Masatiya. At the sound of your amen. Receive the mantle to be more this week. More opportunities are coming your way this week. More open doors are coming your way this week. More grace is coming your way this week. More laughter is coming this week. Let your amen turn louder. I announce there will be no depletion. 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 Let your amen turn louder. Matthew chapter 8 from verse 5 to 13. And we read together church one to go and when jesus was entered into capano there came unto him a centurion beseeching him and saying lord my servant lieth at home sick of the palsy grievously tormented and jesus said unto him i will come and heal him the centurion answered and said lord i am not worthy that thou shouldest come under my roof but speak the word only and my servant shall be healed for i am a man under authority having soldiers under me and i say to this man go and he goeth and to another come and he cometh and to my servant do this and he doeth it and when jesus heard it he marveled and said to them that followed verily i say unto you i have not found so great faith no not in israel and i say unto you that many shall come from the east and west and shall sit down with Abraham and Isaac and Jacob in the kingdom of heaven. But the children of the kingdom shall be cast out into outer darkness. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. And Jesus said unto the centurion, Go thy way, and as thou hast believed, so be it done unto thee. And the servant was healed in the selfsame hour. Our Father, we ask, O God, let there be none of any man but all of you father we ask oh god do what only you can do in our lives let your amen thunder louder 
people of God before you sit down and as your two hands are lifted please let me pray for you Jesus made one of the most intriguing I find that statement absolutely heartbreaking and heart-wrenching especially for people who did not understand the value Jesus said that is how other people will come from the east from the west and they are going to sit with Abraham Isaac and Jacob I don't think that you understood what that means it means that they are going to be at the same place having the same honor in the kingdom being as much as valuable as these patriarchs of the faith and the people that the kingdom is meant for will now be cast into outer darkness as your amen will thunder hear me as I hear the Lord whatsoever that was built to be your inheritance as your amen will thunder your mistake will not cause you to miss it I wish that amen will thunder louder your mistake will not cause you to miss it you will not miss your inheritance you will not miss your inheritance you will not miss your inheritance let your amen thunder louder let your amen thunder let your amen rise take your seats in the presence of the lord and people of god while we are still on that particular matter on the flip side uh, jesus simply began to say uh, uh, people let me remind you that days and seasons are coming when there are a set of people who don't look the kingdom who don't have the appearance who are not even qualified to be called kingdom but they are the ones that we're going to find in the kingdom but there are those who look the part who talk the part who are sanctimonious for the part but we won't find them in the inheritance and the difference between them is that those who already look the kingdom did not believe in the kingdom while those who were not part of the kingdom believed in the kingdom and the Lord decided to do a switch I'm not going to let those who don't believe in the kingdom partake of the inheritance of the kingdom and I'm going to take those who believe in the kingdom but are not in the kingdom ever wondered why a Muslim will receive healing ever wondered why those people that come on NSPPD will receive of the Lord they don't know Jesus but they believe Jesus did you hear what I just said right now? So people of God, unfortunately, yeah, 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 don't be in the kingdom and you don't believe the kingdom. Don't be part of the kingdom, but yet you don't understand that there is a move of God that is called suddenly. And you don't have an idea that there is a move of God. People of God, there's something that this centurion knew that we need to know today. And the centurion came to Jesus and he says, Sir, oh God, oh God, my servant at home is sick and he's almost at the point of death and Jesus looked at him and said I will come and heal him don't forget that he was not a Jew I will come and heal him for one second let me borrow you at the centurion come you're my centurion let me borrow you and Jesus said to him as soon as he came I will come and heal him sir let me assume right now that the centurion leaves because he's not a jew he's a roman soldier you understand that so and let's let's assume that probably he lives just down this road down down this road and jesus said i will come and heal him which means you and i are going to do a journey together to your house am i communicating so we're going to go so we're going to of course for you to move from here to there you have to take some walk am i communicating so the walk might take us how many minutes it can take us how many minutes 10 20 minutes one hour because then it was far from where the jews were to where the roman soldiers were and he said i will come to your house and the man you probably thought that what the man said to jesus was don't come to my house it was deeper than that he said oh god forget the journey forget the process just speak the word he says sir 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 the place where i am in i believe you too much that something can happen now he said oh god oh god oh god when you are involved when you are involved protocols can be broken he said oh god oh god i don't want to do 
want the journey i don't want it to take seven days i don't want it to take two weeks i don't want it to take one month i don't want it to take one year only if you can do what speak the word sir listen it was jesus that said it was jesus that said i will come that is can we do this by process it wasn't the man that said to jesus come it was jesus that said to the man i will and the man said to jesus even though you are the one that said it <laughs> me i want to say my own he says sir please don't bother coming when a man wants to break process believe and speak the word the word of god swallows time the word of God swallows process. The word of God baranda kushabalaya and mikora sande kataya. There is someone under the sound of my voice. You thought it was going to take time by reason of this suddenly service hear me as i hear the lord before 1 p.m tomorrow morning you will be carrying your evidence with your hands oh that amen did not sound like you understood it you will carry your evidence with your hands you will carry your evidence with your hands you will carry your evidence with your hands let your amen scatter the gates of hell let your amen rise let your amen rise. Let your amen rise. Let your amen rise. Somebody hear me. I don't know who you are, but good news is coming on Monday morning. I am not talking to everyone. The report is changing tomorrow morning. A miracle in form of a human being will enter a plane and find you where you are. A miracle in form of a human being will carry your evidence to where you are. Receive it right now. Processes are broken. Protocols are broken. It will not take time. It will not take time. It will not take time. Lord, your amen turn it louder. Take your set. Barabala boshi ya nabalaba. Barakata na basi ya nabaka. Basata basha. I don't know who you are, but I bring your celebration forward. <laughs> I bring your laughter forward. I am not talking to everyone. I bring your joy forward. I am at the word of God is swallowing time. 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 Let your amen turn the louder. Take your seat. Karabala baba shadi yaraba. Poroko si yaraba. People, when you want time to submit, speak the word. It will take you two months to stabilize. Now who to come? It will take you four months for you to now. Now who to come? He can't have a For the word of God is quick and powerful. Sharper than any two-edged sword. And balakota. As your amen will turn down. Let time bow to you. Let time bow to you. Let time bow. Let time bow. Let time bow. Let time bow. Let your amen turn down. Take your set. Marababashia. And Jesus said, This one shall be something. Karabalababa, it will not be by process. Barakoshi and Barababa Kasute. Because the Bible says that right there and there, in that self same hour, just as Jesus was talking, it was happening. My Barabo said, So all that process, we will move from this village to this village. We'll move from this town to this town. All that process was cut off because a man was saying, Lord, just speak the word. Just speak the word, but right now he has brought us a kingdom of kings and priests, and we take what he is. We have won his identity, and when we want time to bow, we speak the word. He will not take three years, it will happen 
tomorrow it is happening right now right now right now now right now right now the lungs are disappearing the doors are opening i can't have a shot i'm speaking the word i can't lie for he knows the thoughts he thinks towards me they are thoughts of good and not of evil to give me a future and an expected end surely there is an end surely there is an end and the expectation of the righteous shall not be cut short take your seat for one second and people of god help me look at your neighbor say no by process that neighbor is still waiting for process please leave that one neighbor say no by process you're gonna be a prophet to your neighbor say neighbor the suddenly miracle is on you right now by the way my spirit is leaping with joy i feel joy in my spirit i feel joy in my spirit look at another neighbor say neighbor neighbor the suddenly miracle the suddenly miracle is on you is on you is on you is on you Lord, your aim is on the louder. Take your seat. Rabala Baba ba. suddenly you are going to return back to the hospital what they saw before they will not see it again suddenly you are going to wake up in the morning and you're going to search for the lump and you will not find it suddenly the lord will open doors he can't tell about shire suddenly you will win that case in the court suddenly the lord will send a helper that will restore 20 years suddenly the lord will make a name for himself in your life suddenly the lord will establish you suddenly the clients will come the customers will come suddenly the office will call you to resume this week suddenly goodness and mercy are following you all the days of your life and you are dwelling in the house of the lord somebody turn to suddenly Your neighbor does not know why you need the miracle of suddenly you have waited for too long if the word of god swallows time if the word of god swallows process by the word that is coming from this altar let time let process let it be swallowed on your behalf let it be swallowed on your behalf. Let it be swallowed on your behalf. Somebody turn us suddenly. Take your seat for one second. Suddenly, your name appeared on the list. Suddenly, you were recommended. Suddenly, they said it's either you or nobody suddenly there will be a mistake that will make you relevant yeah, 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 yeah. suddenly there will be an overturning an overturning an overturning an overturning suddenly a king somewhere will not sleep they will not sleep they will not sleep they will not sleep suddenly they will start calling you they will start calling you suddenly a king will start calling you let your amen turn the louder Suddenly, the rejected will become the remembered. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. A court has said, Abala, let the believer turn the suddenly. You got to be a prophet. Look at your neighbor, say, Neighbor, take a look at me. By Sunday, by Sunday, by Sunday by sunday 
I am returning back with my suddenly testimony. Let your amen scatter the gates of hell. Let your amen rise louder. Thunder it again. Say by Sunday, I am returning with my suddenly testimony. Let your amen thunder louder. Take your seat. Because so neighbor, don't criticize me. Don't ask why must it be sudden. If you knew the story of my family, you will know why it has to be sudden. If you know the lies, if you know the battle, if you know the negativities, you will just pray and say, Let my life just be sudden, let it just be quick, let everything happen fast. There are those who who have said let us see whether he will find help in God I will look up my eyes to the hills from whence comes my help my help coming from the Lord who made heaven and earth carry a suddenly miracle take your seat take your seat there is yet a generation that will say by process or by the word make a choice by process or by the word make a choice by process or by the word 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 can you thunder it loud scream it louder Shout it louder! Look at your family and scream it! Look at your career and scream it! Look at tomorrow and scream it! let the demons of hell hear me my life is not by process my life is by the world hey. take your seat for one second look at your neighbor and ask your neighbor by process or by the word what's your neighbor say the centurion said to jesus he said oh God, sir, let me tell you this was what he described and jesus said yeah you are qualified for suddenly i say oh God, sir, you say i'm a proper soldier he says sir I know how to tell this one go and he goes he will seem think that he was trying to describe himself no sir he was giving a principle of the kingdom and Jesus said ah so you understand this principle so you understand it because you thought he was just describing he said okay I know how to tell people go and it will go and I'll know how to say to this one come and it will come people of God be coming down there because you see this principle you see this principle it provokes suddenly do you know in this kingdom our success our transition our becoming our manifestation is tied to the principle and capacity to be able to say to this one go and it goes and then you say to this one come and it comes people of God life becomes burdensome when something that should go stays life becomes misery when something that should come goes what should go that has stayed <laughs> somebody help me look at me speak speak back to me say right now whatever that should go that is still staying say back your load say get out 
I need you to say like you said, Pack your Lord. Say, get out. 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 Let your image turn the louder. Let, let me even stand where you can see me very well. Whatever I call, I want you to thunder, get out. Because you know that Basada, remember, shame and misery is a consequence of allowing things that should go stay. People of God, pain and setback is allowing things that should come stay or go as it were. Hear me, people of God. Anything I say, and you believe they should go. I don't know whether we should shall go or get out. <laughs> Understand that Jesus said, I'm impressed with this soldier. So, sir, what we are doing here, if there's got to be a suddenly, there's got to be a warrior mindset. There's got to be a soldier mindset. I didn't come here to play games. Destiny is calling my name. Whatever you hear me say, you're going to scream it, get out. Rising and falling. I'm going to, I'm going to call one that I need you to get out. Let the devil know he can stop on challenges. I'm going to repeat this one again. It has stayed and stayed and stayed and stayed. stayed. Stop on challenges. Stop on challenges. Lack of favor. Evil arrows. Enchantment. Divination. Limitation. Don't die louder again. And I'm going to, anything I call, you're going to shout, come. Supernatural increase. High favor. Multiple open doors. Spiritual fire. Ay, 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 ay. Consecration. Living for Jesus. Rising of all your family members. Joy that is lasting. Peace of your family. Peace of your family. Peace of your family. Health of all your family members. Health of all your family members. Health of all your family members. Let your amen turn the louder. People of God, don't forget. If you must operate in divine suddenly, you must be a master of knowing how to say go and Shabalier. the day you broke down and began to cry was the day you stood in front of what should go and you are asking it to stay i won't cry because you wanted to prove stubborn no i will maintain my word even if with tears in my eyes i will still be shouting go 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 even if I have not yet carried my evidence, I will still be looking at my evidence and I'll be shouting, Come, 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 come. Did I bless someone this morning? I don't know what will happen between Monday and Wednesday, but as your two hands are lifted, hear me as I hear the Lord carry your device suddenly. 
Oh, your amen is sounding like you're not sure. Carry your device suddenly. Carry your device suddenly. The doors are opening. The doors are opening. The doors are opening. Receive it right now. 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 Lord, your amen on the seven times. I feel like you need to do something very prophetic. You must answer your neighbor. You ask the question, and you and your neighbor will answer it together. You're going to look at 21 persons, walk up to them, and you're going to ask them a question by word or by process. Something is going on. Something is going on. <laughs> you are releasing it in the atmosphere. You are releasing your certainty in the atmosphere. Hey, Once has the Lord spoken, twice have I heard it. That all power. If there is someone who understands that something is about to happen and it will happen suddenly, put your hands together and add a shout. Add a shout, add a shout, add a shout, add a shout. Let your amen turn the louder. Just high five everyone around you and tell them congratulations. Just high five everyone around you and tell them congratulations, 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 congratulations. congratulations. If you believe it, can you turn that louder? Amen. People of God. You know, there is a capacity you have carried. When you get home, there are two words that should be important to you. Do you know the words? And what are the words? When you see something you love in the life of someone, instead of having them, you will stretch forth your hands and do. When you see them standing with their husband and wearing their and you like the way they look, you stretch your hand and shout. When you enter your house and see what you don't like, you will point at it and do what? was blessed this morning would you give the lord a mighty shout 